What's up guys, welcome to another video tutorial by The Coder. Okay, so today what we're going to be learning is how you can fix a hard disk drive, uh, particularly a Seagate hard disk drive, that is only showing up as 32 megabytes. Um, it can also show up as 30 megabytes, 31 megabytes, or 33 megabytes. Okay, now, the way we're going to be doing this is by using a little tool called Hiren's Boot CD. Now this Boot CD comes with a feature called C Tools. Um, we're going to use C Tools to repair the hard drive and restore its full functionality. Now what we need to do first is we need to change the BIOS settings so the SATA mode is set to native IDE instead of ACHI. Okay so we're going to do that now so we're going to turn on the computer um, we're just going to enter the BIOS. Now, the bio to enter the BIOS is a little bit different on every computer. Usually, it's either F1, F2, or the delete button. So, we're just entering the BIOS now. And next, we want to go to into Advanced. Integrated, peri integrated Periperials, whatever that says. Uh, I can never read that. And you'll see onboard SATA mode that says... Uh, AHCI and we're going to change that to native IDE and just go back exit and save and exit setup okay next we have the Hirens boot CD installed onto an external hard drive so we're just going to wait for that to load and as you can see there it is Next we're going to go down to DOS programs, DOS programs, which is the third menu option. Press enter. And go to hard disk tools. More. And Seagate C tools. And we'll just leave this to load. Um, let it automatically load the drivers. Automatically load the keyboard layout. And next we want to use the graphical option so we select option one and as we can see here we've got a graphical user interface and we're just going to accept the license agreement and now it will scan for all PCI ATA devices there we see the ST 31,052-4AS uh, we've got the serial number, the revision version uh, and the test progress and results next we go to advanced features and set capacity to max native and I apologize for the focus you can't record BIOS so I, I am having to do this on a, carry, on a normal camera or a phone camera so set capacity to max native Test results passed. And as we can see there, it says started set capacity to max native, set capacity to max native passed. So that should now be all done. So we're going to do a short test now. And it shouldn't take too long. And what this does, uh, while we're just waiting for it, uh, what this does is it just resets the firmware. Um, it's a firmware issue on Seagate hard drives, and um, I'm not really sure what causes it, but the firmware basically messes up and it causes it to read as um, between 30 and 33 megabytes. Um, as we can see from the selected drive information, um, device is 48-bit addressed, number of LBAs, um, 1000 gigabytes so this will now be reading on the BIOS as 1000 gigabytes whereas before it was reading as just 32 gigabyte, uh, 32, 31 megabytes so we're on 90% of the test um, and the DST completed without error and everything is now working as it should and the hard drive has been restored alright guys uh, Thanks for watching this quick tutorial, I hope this helps. 
Um, we're going to go back into the BIOS now, just to show you that it is working. So we're going to reboot the computer. And we're going to go back into the BIOS. And we go to... Where can we read the hard drives? Haven't used this uh, thing yet. I think it's these. Uh, it's SATA port 4. There we go. And the hard drive now reads as 1000 gigabytes. Alright guys. Thanks for watching this video tutorial. I hope this helps. Um, if you do have any problems or you need help with a specific problem, be sure to drop a comment in the comment section below and I will do my best to help. Alright, thanks for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you all again soon. Thanks for watching.